Hi guys, here's how to replace the solenoid valve on the Sub-Zero 650 Ice Maker. Here's the brand I used. It was a perfect fit. Now at the very bottom of the unit, you need to remove the black panel held in by a screw on each side to give you access to this solenoid valve. And here I am removing the uh, water connection that feeds up into the ice maker. You'll note I already moved the copper supply side tube from the other side of the solenoid valve, and it's good to have a rag handy to wipe up any water that uh, comes out of the um, uh, plastic tube on the other side. Okay, this is now fully disconnecting the solenoid valve. Sorry about the rag. Okay, here's connecting the new valve to the plastic supply going to the ice maker. You want to make sure you put the uh, copper or brass insert into the plastic tube so that when you tighten it down you get a good uh, uh, watertight connection. You want to make this connection roughly hand tight or hand tight plus a quarter turn. You don't want it too tight because it's plastic threads and all. After that, you want to make the uh, modular electrical connection to the solenoid. My hand's in the way, so it's hard to see here. You can now make the water supply side connection to the other end of the solenoid valve using the short copper piece that came with the solenoid valve. Of course, don't forget the compression ferrule that goes around, or the sleeve that goes around the pipe before you screw it onto the solenoid for a watertight fit. This compression connection should be tightened a lot more than the uh, plastic pipe on the other side, as it is a metal connection and you have to, you know, it's a compression fitting, so you have to actually compress that ferrule or sleeve inside the um, nut there to, to get a tight seal. That said, it is a brass nut, which is softer metal than steel or iron, so you don't want to over tighten it because you could either crack or uh, strip the, the brass. And also because it's a compression fitting, you don't use thread seal, either uh, thread tape or, or pipe dope, to make the uh, sealed connection. That's what the ferrule, uh, compressed ferrules for. The last connection is a compression fitting from the pigtail to the water supply line, which I didn't show here because the kit didn't come with the compression ferrule to make that connection. But when you're done with that, you simply uh, put a one screw uh, connector back onto the frame of the bottom of the uh, refrigerator and then put the panel back on.